Good morning. Here we up, uh, up here on the high hill, over, uh, over our New Journey farm here. This is going to be the uh, place where uh, I'm going to welcome uh, Easter morning with a new fire and a vigil, and watch the sun come over those mounds. I'm really looking forward to being up here with you, and also, you know, celebrating a Holy Week with you. Now. Seems like an end of a end of a journey here these past uh, past few days as uh, as we have come uh, far in in the uh, the book Restoration Point because it's sort of been a journey. It's been a sort of a, a lifetime journey as I looked at um, you know my early days uh, courtship with Sabina, her cancer diagnosis, uh, my son's suicide, and then we get to this last chapter which I'd like to read a, a few poems from kind of uh, winding things up today. And uh, on the subsequent days, we'll, we'll take a look at some of the issues that are facing us and, and how we can uh, keep ourselves uh, strong in this, uh, this time of, uh, of great challenge. So the first um, poem I'd like to read has to do with this creation around here and this place that we've loved for, for 40 years now. Rainy, sunny, morning wood walk. Fragrant aromatic leaves, kaleidoscopic umbers, catcalling blackbirds. Look, a miniature toad hops across the trail. Yes, it is good. This life we have, our hands entwined together. And then looking on with some of these poems each day, each day we visit this great cathedral, its gothic arches, Golden autumnal branches, its nave, the lengthy trodden path, carpeted with leafy reds, golds, and umbers, its high altar, the limestone outcropping we call Eucharist rock, its baptistry, the gurgling brook. Yes, each day we enter God's temple. An angelic choir of chirping choruses of hues and shadows, mixed sparkling light, as we stand on the cliff, praising God from whom all blessings flow. <laughs> so when people say they find God in nature, of course, <laughs> of course. And then um, I think about, um, about two swans who nested just, just south of us and would like to um, called each year. Each year we see them, two swans, on the pond south of us. We look for their faithful arrival each year, a couple. Each year they mate and hatch a young or two. The chicks. Whoa! Whoa, what happened here? I don't know. High tech. Whew. So, each year we see them, we talked about their chicks. The chicks never seem to make it. They are gone much too soon. And yet each year we see them faithfully arrive. But this year only one has settled on the pond. He swims and nests across from where they made their home. Not approaching that sacred place, will he be back next year? To visit these memories of their youth? To see their nest again? now but a remnant in the changing landscape of these breathtaking hills and valleys. So sort of the ebb and flow of life. And we're probably thinking more about that today than we were a month ago. But I'd like to share with you a, a psalm by uh, translation, um, modern translation by Nan Merrill in her book, Psalms for Praying. Open my heart's eyes that I might see the wondrous blessings of creation. I am a sojourner on earth. May I know myself also as a spiritual being. My soul is consumed with an intense longing to be blessed and sustained by you, O divine lover. May I not be a bearer of disharmony, one who is arrogant and greedy. Teach me to stand firm, 
when faced with injustice and oppression. To be fervent, to be fervent in my stance for truth, even though fears rise up, may my eye remain focused on you. So there we are this morning, hmm. talking about those psalms. The psalms are, are such an important part of, of my life and dealing with the ups and downs that I've experienced because um, psalms are a chance for you to not only praise God, but there's a whole bunch of them that have to do with hmm, getting angry at God for the hand God has dealt you. So it's okay to shout and yell at God in tough times. I think God wants it. He wants the, the interaction with us. He wants to know we are human. And that means all our emotions. So we go forth. Fear not. God is a, keeps you in the palm of his hand. God bless you this week. See you soon.